if cot inverse of root of cos alpha minus tan inverse of root of cos alpha equal to x then sin x is equal to options are tan squared alpha by 2 cot squared alpha by 2 tan alpha and cot of alpha by 2 it's asked in idje 2002 okay we have this root cos alpha is going to range from 0 to 1 because cos alpha will range from minus 1 to plus 1 but root cos alpha exists only for cos alpha non-negative therefore root cos alpha is going to range from 0 to 1 so when you have a tan inverse root cos alpha so the tan inverse root cos alpha so that is going to range from 0 to pi by 4 and then cot inverse of cot inverse of root cos alpha that is going to range from pi by 4 to pi by 2 because the, the 0 to 1 value will occur for cot of angles that is ranging from pi by 4 to pi by 2 right in the principal limit and for tan inverse it is going to be from 0 to pi by 4. So this difference that is your x. So let us see that what happens with the x. So with the x fellow that difference will happen the minimum of cot inverse with the maximum of tan inverse when you subtract so this is minimum and that is maximum that will give you the minimum range a minimum uh, i mean i mean the lesser uh, lower bound and if you have a maximum fellow here and a minimum fellow that gives the upper bound therefore the minimum of cot inverse is pi by 4 maximum of tan inverse is pi by 4 so the lower bound is zero right? that happens when both are equal then the uh, maximum bound will happen when this takes maximum and this takes minimum. So that is going to be pi by 2. So 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to sin pi by 2. Therefore your sin x is going to be in the range of 0 to 1. So whatever we are going to find sin x is non-negative. Right? Okay, that we will keep in mind because these things are important when you are going to find later because probably we may get something like plus or minus root then we can try to eliminate because we know that it is going to be non-negative fine so okay so what next we know that cot inverse of root of cos alpha plus tan inverse of root of cos alpha is equal to pi by 2 because cot inverse of x plus tan inverse of x is equal to pi by 2. The same fellow is happening here, therefore it is going to be pi by 2. This is by property. This is given cot inverse of root of cos x minus tan inverse of root of, I mean not cos x, sorry, cos alpha and minus tan inverse of root of cos alpha is equal to x. So this is given, this is by property. Okay, so this you can take, this is given. Now if you are going to subtract, is you get 2 tan inverse of root of cos alpha is equal to pi by 2 minus x. And we have an identity for 2 tan inverse of cos root cos alpha. So by formula we have tan inverse of 2 root cos alpha by 1 minus square of root cos alpha which is cos alpha. So, this is going to be pi by 2 minus x. So, this can be written as 2 root cos alpha by 1 minus cos alpha is equal to tan of pi by 2 minus x. So, that is going to be cot x. Okay, so, cot x is this. So, when cot x is this, we want a sin x. So, what the plan is, we will square, we get a cot squared x. Cot squared is linked with cosecant squared. From there, we can take reciprocal and get sin squared and then we can go to sin x. So, cot squared x is going to be, cot x is this, it is going to be 4 cos alpha by 1 minus cos alpha the whole squared. Then you add one both sides. So, 1 plus cot squared x that is going to be cosecant squared x and you can see that when you 
take LCM and add 1 minus cos alpha whole square plus 4 cos alpha is nothing but 1 plus cos alpha the whole square. Therefore, this is 1 plus cos alpha by 1 minus cos alpha the whole square which means your sin squared x is equal to 1 minus cos alpha by 1 plus cos alpha the whole squared. So, sin squared x is equal to what is 1 minus cos alpha by 1 plus cos alpha? We know that 1 minus cos alpha is 2 sin squared alpha by 2. This is 2 cos squared alpha by 2 and then the whole squared. Therefore, you can cancel this. That means it is actually tan squared alpha by 2 the whole squared. So, which means sin squared x is equal to tan squared alpha by 2 the whole squared. So, that means sin x is equals to plus or minus tan squared alpha by 2. But we know that sin x is non-negative. Therefore, you won't get minus which means sin x is going to be plus tan squared alpha by 2. So, this is going to be true because your sin x is non-negative. So, that working is going to help you. Otherwise, you will land at sin x is equal to plus or minus tan squared alpha by 2. So, look at the options. So, the correct option is option A tan squared alpha by 2 is the right equivalent for sin x. That is the answer.